how to use Canva AI website builder. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with building your own Canva website. Now Canva has recently been updated with several new features that can help you in improving upon your website on Canva. Now in the past, Canva websites were only one page. So you could make a really long and extensive singular page like this. You would have one really long page. However, Canva has now introduced multi-page websites which help you in building navigations and a optimal flow for your customers. You're able to build better wireframes and better and more intuitive sites with the help of multi-page use. So let's go on ahead and get started step by step. Now to get started, we are going to just log on to our Canva account and you can see with the help of Canva AI, you can even build your website. So if you click on over here and describe the type of website you're looking to build, let's say I want to build a portfolio website for me as a photographer, like so, you can ask the AI tool to bring your idea to life. What it's going to do is that it's going to get started with coding and it's going to start generating a basic template for you. This template is going to be customized and tailored to whatever parameters you've defined or whatever information you've provided. And users can now maintain brand consistency with Canva's brand kit and swap in assets from Canva libraries, which can help you in ensuring a very nice and cohesive brand look for your entire websites. Not only that, animations can now be added to bring content to life even within websites. So let's take a look at what type of template it is coding for us and what is going to be the end result of this Canva code. Now, in this, I've only defined a portfolio website that is for a photographer. Nothing else has been defined. And the best part about using Canva still is that publishing is for free. Even if you are someone that does not have Canva Pro, you can easily publish your own website for free with the ability to customize your favicon and search preview text. Free users can publish up to five websites using a Canva subdomain and custom domains require a Pro or Teams account. Canva websites are mobile responsive by default, although there are some limitations still. Now, from here, if you do not want to generate your own template, you can always go into Canva and go into websites and view some of the templates that they have pre-built. So if you go under templates in your home page and you search for website templates, you can browse their template gallery. So Canva has multiple different use case templates, whether it's landing pages for products or events, portfolios for showcasing your work or designs, lookbooks for fashion shows or real estates, media kits for content creators, or simple service or business information information sites. This can serve as a cost-effective solution for a sales page or a lead capture page with a very quick and easy setup. Canva has an emphasis on providing simplicity and design flexibility, especially for those already using Canva. Now, our code is currently almost completed, and this is the first version of our website that has been generated. So currently, this template is very professional, and I do find this to be very nice. So I can click on this, and I can proceed with adding more details. I can edit the prompt and add specific color schemes I might like or anything else I would want to change. But I'm going to click on use this in a design and then click on website to get started with custom building my website. So we have our basic template ready and we can proceed by adding our own pages and our own sections. Now whenever you are taking these sections, you can click on use in a design and then even use it in a presentation, document, or whiteboard. Now this is what the basic design for us looks like. I'm going to zoom in a little so you guys can better see what it looks like. Now in this, I personally do think that we could better optimize this a little by including our own brand colors. So if you want and if that is your personal preference, if you go into a Canva website and you go into templates on the right and you go into your design section, search for templates and then search for portfolio. You will view several different portfolio styles. If you place some content within your website, it's going to display some content in a new layout. So the same type of content is going to be displayed in a new layout. So if I have this content over here and I apply all the pages for this, so I apply all 16 sections of this like so. And if I go into styles, I would be able to customize this according to my own brand kit. Now to get started with our page building and our website building, I want to zoom in a little. And first off, I'm going to delete some of the filler content and I want to build this as my primary portfolio. So I'm going to add Lily Davis and then I'm going to add where life comes to image. And then I can transform this text and I want to make it creative. And then I'm going to replace this where life takes the form in vibrant imagery. 
I'm going to delete this. Now I'm going to take all of these sections by doing a left click and I'm going to size them down a little like so. Once I size them down, I'm going to take this particular section and I'm going to move this across and then place this a bit at the center. Now I'm going to go into elements on the left, go ahead and pick out a basic square shape. Then I'm going to place it on top and then move it like so. Once I've expanded this square shape, I'm just going to place it right at the top because I want this to serve as my navigation menu like so. Now I want to copy and paste the title of my website, but I'm going to resize it. I can remove it from here and I'm going to change this text into a larger font and I'm going to place it over here. Zoom out a little so you guys can see how it looks like. Now I would click on the left side and I would upload my own images. I'm just going to be using some stock footage provided by Canva, like so. I'm going to click on photos and I'm going to be using a different photo for this, like so. Now, once I've done that, I can proceed with building each individual page. Now, within Canva, because this is an older template, it is already using the section by section approach, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to delete all of these images. So I have this entire section that I do not require, and I'm just only going to delete all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on delete on each individual page, click on the page and then click on delete 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 then from here we have the my portfolio section which i'm going to be changing so to get started with building my pages i'm going to click on add page on the right once i do that i can proceed with adding elements from my pre-existing color palette like so so i can play around with my color palette elements and i can start building if i click on over here and start you know using my own color palette it is easily able to derive the colors and build a really nice harmony between them so I want to take this one and I want to apply this to all my pages and this would be applied throughout my website without having to manually change everything. Now going back into elements first off, I want to build this as my primary portfolio page. So I'm going to add some title text and I'm going to name this portfolio. Now I'm going to place this on top like so. And then to name your page, you're going to have to click on over here and then click on edit and then add the name of your page like so. Now you also have to include this in your navigation menu. If you're building your own navigation, I'm going to name this as my work. And then I'm going to do a click on these three dots. And then I'm just going to click on link and link this to my second page, which is called the portfolio page. Now I do want a page that leads people back to my homepage. So I would have to build a similar header on top. So I'm going to name that my homepage. I'm going to resize my font here. And once I resize it, I would go back into elements, go into my shapes, place a simple square box here. Then I'm going to change the color of that like so. Now I can start building my portfolio. I can click on add sections and to further enhance my portfolio, I can use the help of frames by simply searching for frames and then adding frames to display my content or my work. Now this is a photography portfolio, so it makes sense that I'm using frames. If you have any other type of website, you have several different powerful features that can help you in finding the right thing that is going to be helpful for you and your business. So once I've added this, I can proceed with building my secondary page. Once done, I can just click on preview to preview what my website looks like. Now you can resize this on mobile and include a default navigation menu. I'm not going to because I built my own, but if you do not want to build your own navigation menu, you can just check this and this will build your navigation for you. And just like that, your website is ready to publish. However, although this is an amazing website, we do need to keep into consideration some of the limitations that are present within Canva websites. First off, there is no native form builder, so there's no opportunity for you to capture leads. It only has basic SEO controls and there's no blogging functionality and there's limited layout control on mobile devices. There's no export or migration and there are no default checkout features. So there's no integrated e-commerce which can be used for checking out products. So if you're publishing a website that focuses on selling products, you would have to do it via a third-party checkout system like Stripe or PayPal. Do keep that in mind whenever you're building a Canva website. But their multi-page update is a significant improvement and they're best for simple and creative websites, quick launches, and landing pages. And this is not something I would recommend for complex scalable websites because Canva websites may outgrow the functionality that you might want to provide. But still, it's an amazing solution for quick and easy page launches. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below.